Hi, I'm John. Thanks for checking out this video. At Clifolio, we manage dozens of campaigns across multiple platforms. We're constantly looking at lead generation and demand generation efforts and trying to figure out the best way to grow the business as, as a marketing team here. I use our digital marketing dashboard to really help drive the team and rally the team around the key metrics that are just core to what we do and help us uh, stay aligned with our business objectives. So we're running campaigns across Facebook advertisements, on our AdWords, we do a lot of uh, uh, search engine optimization, as well as email campaigns for our marketing automation system. There's a few key things about this dashboard that I really like. Um, first up is my leads clip, and that allows me to see how many leads I'm generating on a daily basis. Um, we like to divide leads into two categories, uh, you know, trial leads, and then leads generated from other sources. So these might be somebody who downloads a white paper, uh, or signs up for a webinar, and we work with those people and uh, nurture them into either starting a trial or getting the right person into the trial from their organization. In particular, I pay attention to our trial numbers on a daily basis. Knowing if we're getting the right amount of trials uh, every day of the week from Monday through Friday helps us you know, really gauge are we going to hit our monthly performance targets. And those are critical because the entire business depends on us uh, to be able to provide them with the leads to close sales and to help scale and grow the business. Probably the most important clip that I use on this dashboard is the one that takes a look at the daily leads, compares it to our monthly leads, as well as our overall web traffic for the month. The combination of these three help me manage uh, my efforts and make sure that the team is driving towards uh, the right objective. And if there's something going on with, uh, with our trials, for instance, for the month, we know at an early point. We've made sure that each of the gauges within that uh, clip itself will turn red if we're not hitting our expected value or our target values. So it increments our goals increment throughout the entire month to allow us to see, um, you know, are we hitting our, our goals on the 23rd of the month and what do we need to do to adjust on those goals. We, I use a combination of Marketo and Google Analytics to power all of these clips. So Marketo provides us with information about our leads, uh, gives us information about the quality of leads that we're generating, at what stage of the life cycle they're at, uh, as well as, uh, you know, uh, are they trial leads or are they kind of more uh, generic leads that come through campaigns like our content download programs. For Google Analytics, I use it for, uh, for the overall number of web users we generate on a monthly basis, but also to see what uh, channels are performing. So it's really important that all of our channels are performing well. Uh, and that I have the leading indicators around my goal conversion rates and my bounce rates to make sure that even if I do have good volume from some of these channels, uh, that the quality is also very high. We use this dashboard in the digital marketing department and as the marketing department as a whole uh, by displaying it up, up on a big wallboard screen. So it's up you know, 24 hours a day for us to view. Uh, and people walking by will constantly stop, look, and ask us some questions about you know what are their performance doing is organic on uh, organic traffic generating the amount of trials that we would expect um, so yeah we use it with everybody within the business so we've scheduled a few of the key clips on this dashboard to be automated every day so we send out an email at 11:30 at night that allows us to see what is our performance for that day it's really actually kind of cool because uh, we start the conversation every single day aligned. What happened yesterday? How is our performance? If it's been good, how we, can we continue it? And if it's been bad, how do we correct that and make sure that um, we're doing something today to affect the bottom line?